kids, it's Crafts with Katie. Um, and this time we are doing Halloween edition. And you see, I've got my jack-o'-lantern shirt on, big pumpkin. Um, so um, today we are making um, clothespin bats. Now, we sent home a little package um, for some of you that got to pick it up. Um, with all the supplies in there. Um, they're pretty easy supplies to find at home if you weren't able to grab a package. Um, or you can always just make it out of stuff that you have at home. Really easy. So um, I'm gonna start with, this is what your clothespin will start out like. And I took my clothespin and I started coloring it. So I just took a marker and colored it. Um, if you want, you can paint them um, or try and put paper on them or make them out of whatever you think will make your bat look special. So I just got mine all colored up. And now you will take um, I've got googly eyes that I'm going to put on. Um, if you don't have googly eyes, you can just, with white paint or paper or anything like that, you can make eyes. So I have my bag here of googly eyes. So I'm going to look through, I don't know, there's some pretty odd looking eyes in here. Um, try and find some that match. So there we go. I've got my googly eyes. Um, I'm going to glue these on. So I just take my glue stick. Now you wanna glue it on not the, not the part that you pinch. You wanna glue them onto the part that will be on something, like the clothespin part. So you wanna glue them onto there. So we're just gonna put a little bit of glue. You can use this kind of glue or you can use white glue. Um, like always, you just have to let it dry before you start moving it around too much. So I'm gonna put my eyes on. Okay, and it'll be something like that when you've got your eyes on. So then um, you have some little pieces of paper in there. Um, you can take and make them however you want, but we're gonna make our little bat ears. So the easiest way that I can think of is you take your sheet and you cut a little tiny square out. And then for me, I'm gonna take and I'm gonna cut a triangle out of one side. And it will look something like that. So it's got the two little ears sticking up. So then I'm just gonna take this, put some glue on it, and then we'll put them on our bat. So you take it and you put it into the top part of the where the uh, the eyes are. So then you put it in there, and you can just close it, and it'll stick on there like that. So your bat has ears. Yeah. Oh, and his eyeballs are. See, that's why you have to be careful. His eyeballs are all wonky. So you have to let it dry before you can do too much to it, okay? So I actually have one here and it's all dry. And now the fun, fun part. This is one that I have already colored. Um, it is a coffee filter. So normally they look like this. So when you color it, all you're gonna do is flatten it out. And it's best if you put something down color on so then you're not getting any color on mom's table or grandma's table or anyone's table that could get mad at it getting felt on it so you can do anything you want you can color it any color you can make your bat pink purple orange it's Halloween so you can make it green and goblin-y and you can make your bat any color you want so you just color all over it and then you're gonna take it, put it on something because the 
the color will leak through. So make sure you put it on something that isn't, um, like put it on something hard, not paper, cause it'll just soak through. And then you don't have to use a spray bottle. You can just drip water on it, but I have a spray bottle here. So I'm just gonna spray it. If I can get the spray bottle to spray, there we go. And you'll start to see when, as you get it wet, the colors start to run. Yeah, see? So then you can see it like this and the colors will start to run. And if you want, you can kind of move it around a little bit and make your colors go everywhere. Yeah. And then once you take it off, you'll see that it's all, but you got to let it dry fully before you can make your bat. So you do that and then once it's dry and it doesn't take long to dry because that paper is really, really thin. And once it's dry, it'll look something like this. So then to make your bat, you're going to take your filter and you're going to fold it in half actually. And you're going to make it into a half circle. Now bat wings are kind of like like Batman, like the Batman symbol. They're kind of like a little scalloped. So if that's too hard for you to do, you can also do like triangles, like make it pointy. Or if you want, you can do it just like this. If that's easier, you just put it and then we just gather it like that. And that turns into your bat wings. So I'm going to cut some scallops in here. So then like some, see how it goes like that? You make your pointy bat wings. Yes, and like I said, you can, if that's too hard to do, you can do um, triangles or zigzags or anything you want really. But this way, if you think of it, it's just like a half circle kind of you're doing. So then you're gonna take it and you're kind of gonna gather it up in the middle like this. Just kind of keep gathering it. You want it so that it'll fit inside your clothespin. So now the clothespin, you're gonna take the part that opens when you push on the ends. You're gonna take it and you're gonna slide it in like that. And now you can kind of adjust it, make their wings big, small, Bring it down as far as you can. And if you get it in here and you don't like how the wing's looking, you can always take your scissors and cut the wings a little bit more or whatever you want. But I think that looks pretty cool like that. Those cool bat wings. So once you're done, that's what it looks like. And then if you wanna hang it on something, all you have to do is open the clip up and hang it and it'll hang <laughs> on anything. <laughs> so yeah. There's your bat, creepy bats flying around on Halloween. <laughs> but yeah, so we'd love to see what you guys have made, see what kind of bats you made, send them in if you can. And until next time, happy Halloween. See you kids.